Oh, and we got more cantina missions, but sadly we're all full up on cantina missions. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop the supercharger mission because this kill three trebuchet mix, we're gonna do that anyway. Uh, now for contracts. Tributes for the Imperator. Which I think we've done this before. We did this during the vanilla campaign, but we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again. And we are way, way over tonnage for this mission. So let's, uh... Let's put in Crab instead. And Wolverine's gonna be a little too heavy, so I guess we go 4P Hunchback. We're still gonna be over tonnage, but, uh... I'm not, not gonna take the awesome. Like, I'm gonna take the awesome. These are the rules. Four hours late to another live stream. Well, don't worry, Water. You're, you're only, we're only about four and a half hours in, so not a big deal. You haven't. I mean, you've missed some some hot mech on mech action, but uh, there's still plenty of stream yet to come. Let's see. I tell you what. How about how about because the commander is maxed out, we're gonna drop the awesome. We're gonna drop the commander, and we're gonna put in somebody else. So what's the mech that we're gonna put in? Ah, uh, let's go with. Let's go with the 7H. We haven't taken the 7H Wolverine out for, for a drive in quite some time. And who's going to have the best affinity for that? Probably Mate or General Quarters? Well, Mate needs some more skills, so let's make it hot. Let's make it hot, Chad. Commander, we want your unit to secure a beachhead for the first Canopian Fusilier's dropships. These ghost riders have dug themselves into the region while they plunder the system for loot to offer to Imperator Marius O'Reilly as tribute. Most likely in an attempt for the group to seek asylum in his realm. So be cautious out there. Our employers can't land dropships until the satellite relays controlling air and orbital weapons are destroyed. Destroy them. We're gonna hit, get hit with artillery here in just a second, aren't we? But that's okay, because at the end of the day... At the end of the day... Oh, right, weapon groups. Let me double check. Uh, we got AC5, we got the pulse laser... Re okay, got it. Understand, I understand. Where are the turrets? There's a lot of open ground here and the turret cartel's been busy. Is that a mod you use for the mech pilot avatar? It is indeed. Uh, specifically we are using, among other things, we're using uh, 330's pilot overhaul. Which not only improves the pilot gameplay and progression in the game, but also allows you to fully customize the pilots. With voices and portraits and all sorts of other fun stuff. So, uh, it is, honestly, it's something that should have been in the game by default, but it is a... It is largely considered to be one of the essential mods for Mech Warrior 5. All right, let's uh, let's just run that dish over. And we got a spider, so of course we're gonna we're gonna take out the spider. Only problem is I've gotten so used to firing PPCs, I'm gonna have to relearn how to lead targets with these other weapon systems. Wait, I saw, I saw there it is.
All right. Now we just gotta head up the hill here and take care of the next objective. Yeah, so, and, and that's another thing. Vin kind of has a point here. In addition to not only using 330's pilot overhaul uh, for custom portraits and stuff, I also have done my own little bit of modding within the game uh, to add custom portraits for myself and some of the other, uh, some of the other longtime chat members, especially the ones that uh, already ended up in the game during the BTA game. So there are some, some portraits that I have done, in addition to 330s allowing you to do that. Uh, what do we got? Is that, I was going to say, is that turret cartel out there? Alright, we got another satellite dish, which of course we know. We know! It's just a one one little whoopsie noodle away. And dark sir, I see a hydration incoming. I hear you now as well. On account of the alerts that I put together for that. Mino likey turrets. Good job, Playmore. I mean Erst. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Alright, so we got a couple of other secondary objectives and then the main objective down there. Turret cartel hate. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. 100%. Again, I, I, I know I've said this many, many times before, but I'll say it again. Um, I would instantly buy a DLC in which you basically get to take on and destroy the turret cartel. And uh, then, you know, stop the constant turret spam all over every map in the game. That, that would be an instant buy DLC. Would not even think twice about it. I mean, you say that, General Quarters, but that's... I mean, technically, Erst was willing to use the default voice for this pilot, but uh, we we discovered, apparently, that once... Like, if you get the, uh, the special elite pilots, and then you change the voice, you can't actually get those voices back. So, um, once we realized that, we had to go with the next closest Scottish voice, which is Claymore, from uh, Mech Commander 2. So, specifically, Erst requested the Scottish voice. Go into the darkness. Alright, I'm getting real tired of your shit, Blank Jack. I have I have long stated my disdain for AC2s and their long range bullshit. So you gonna learn today. You gonna learn today. Alright boys, let's get on to this next objective. Yes, I know there are some vehicles behind us, but that's okay. Let's see, can we get him? Can we get him? Get 
Get wrecked, turret. Scrub one. Target. We're on it, Commander. Please take care of that partisan. I hate partisans. I hate fucking partisans so much. Oh, well apparently they did have an artillery piece, but I guess they completely forgot that they had it because they never used it. Not that I'm complaining, because I hate artillery. Please tell me that one of the voices is a male with a heavy stutter. I don't actually know. Maybe. If so, I haven't come across it yet. All right, let's get this last dish. Following your lead, Commander. And boop. Great work, Commander. All right, so now we just go over here to whatever this is 500 meters away. Oh, don't worry, Rihanna. That's that's a thing I would have done anyway. If you put enemies in front of me, I'm gonna blow them up. Maybe the short staff today. Uh, Twitch from Mech Commander 2. Did Twitch have a stutter? I don't remember. Alpha 1 1, this is Whiskey 6 1. Thanks for clearing out that AA installation. Heard you can use a little backup. We're on our way in. Stand by two mics. Yeah, bring it. Let's go. You know what? Screw you. Get run over, nerd. Oh, good. Bring your bullshit. Bring your bullshit. Oh, well, here comes the artillery. See, I shouldn't have been saying shit about the artillery. I shouldn't have been saying shit about the artillery. Actually, you know what? I'll tell you what. You guys hang here. Capture the point. I'm gonna go deal with the artillery. I'm gonna go deal with the artillery. Take her down. But why are you no, don't no, 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 I told you to go over there. Go to the point and capture it. God damn. Already makes it worse. It does indeed. I want some artillery of my own. That would be nice. Good. Stay at the waypoint. Capture it. Artillery and placement destroyed. And no more artillery. Now let's get back before these donkeys get themselves killed. The guns have gone silent, Commander. The enemy artillery has been neutralized. Yeah, they're capping now, which is good, because uh, apparently they can cap. Well. Never mind, I was gonna say, apparently they can cap even with enemies in range when I'm not close. Hey look, it's a locust. I don't know why you chose to stand still, but you're just, you're just making this easier on me.
Where are you going? Aww. Is it, is it space mover time? We captured the point, right? Oh, no. They're bringing some more vehicles. Bring your bullshit. Bring your bullshit. Bullshit. All right, there we go. That's a veto down. Oh, yes, nope, that was the other guy that I hit. Never mind. Never mind. I take it back. I take it back. Yeah, I can't say whether or not. I mean, as far as I know. Um, friendlies being able to capture points is default behavior because I was doing that during the vanilla campaign and it worked just fine. So maybe that's an update that they made for one of the DLCs? I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. But when we were playing vanilla I was doing that and we had zero mods enabled at the time. Alright, where's, where's, there we go. There's the space mover. Space mover. This is why we do beachheads. Because space mover. Alright, let's see. With 24 picks, we could get another crab. We could get another crab. Um, this one actually has its engine core, so that, that could be a useful salvage. Not really much else worth salvaging, though, so I, I think we take the crab. I think, once again... All salvage returns to crab. And then uh, we'll go ahead and... Because we've already got a lot of salvage, I'll use the last pick for some spider salvage. Be transmissions, we'll accept the next one. And I don't remember where it's actually gonna send us to. But let's have a look. So first of all, we gotta, we gotta repair our mechs, as you do. Nobody lost anything important, which is good. And then this crab, because, I mean, there's not a whole lot going on with it other than, I mean, this is basically the same configuration that we were currently using, except I think we stripped out the small and medium lasers and just put in a little bit more armor and maybe another heat sink. Let me see. What, what did we actually do with the other crabs? I don't remember. I, I want to have a look at it. Yeah, so basically we just maxed out the armor, put in a 250 core, and I don't even think we put in extra heat sinks. Because it still had six heat sinks. Which... I mean, I think that's what it had by default. Yeah, it's got six heat sinks by default, so did we just clean out the lasers and max out the armor? Yeah, that's pretty much what we did. I mean, I'm okay with that. It's a little expensive for the repairs, but that's okay. And then we can have Crab Gang. Crab Squad. Or pretty close to it, anyway. And Travis rolling into the chat on a Saturday. Good to see you, Travis. Thanks for joining us on a Saturday. Hopefully you're doing an outstanding... 
on this Saturday, well, I guess Sunday for you, being from the land down under. But uh, good to see you. So far, so good. We've uh, we've experienced mostly success so far in our MechWarrior 5 campaign as we have slowly worked our way to Canopus Space uh, to start working on the Kestrel Answers DLC. In fact, we just got our third crab, which we're now putting back together. So, uh, Crab Squad is almost upon us. I'm awake, let's take it from there. Well, you know what? You gotta start somewhere, that's, that's as good a place as any. Uh, alright, let's see. Operations, objectives... Is, is this on the same planet? Holy shit, it is. Alright, well, there we go. I'm used to having to immediately pick up and go somewhere else whenever they give me another mission, so... Uh, okay. Well, Max salvage shares. You know the rules, and so do I. Uh, we were- we are going to drop the 4P, and we will instead stick in the new crab so it can earn its colors. And, uh, that's actually gonna leave us hilariously under ton for this mission, so let's ditch the Wolverine. Um, and we will... I don't know, what do you think? Awesome or Charger Chat? I think the awesome complements the crab better, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, speaking of, let me switch over here, and we're gonna make you Sniper. Because you only have some large lasers. Call the crab Lance? Lance Zoidberg. Zoidberg Lance, I mean, I'm, I'm not against it. I'm not against it. Uh, let's see. Let's let's ditch this pilot and I say if we're gonna go with the charger, if I throw in the charger, who's got the best affinity for the charger? It's probably gonna be the commander or it's gonna be general quarters. Well, you know what? The commander's already maxed out, so let's go general quarters. Uh, yeah. So squad Zoidberg in 39 days, we're gonna roll out. Let's make it hat. What's my new positive trait? I had two, but now it's three. Uh, I don't know. We will look at that. Well, you'll have to remind me. When the mission is over, remind me and we'll go have a look. Look at this sexy charger cockpit. Nice and spacious. Got plenty of room to stretch my legs. Alright. Let's go wreck some chip chat. Oh, I remember this mission. I remember this mission. You are to assist the fusiliers in clearing the field. This is a straight up fight. So work with the fusiliers and make sure no ghost rider escapes. Good luck. Oh, don't worry. I don't think anybody's gonna be escaping. I don't think anybody's gonna be escaped. Especially not when they're bringing nothing but light mech spam to the field. Come here, you little donkey. Get punched, nerd. Get punched again. Shared target identified. Quick draw. Soon to be quick and dead draw. Okay. Come here, come here. I'm gonna give you the fisticuff. Get punched, nerd. All right, boys. You you hang right there. I gotta go deal with this. Uh, I gotta go deal with this artillery. At the waypoint. In position, boss. Now what? Wonder what our current relationship with Canopus is. Well, we just started doing missions for him. Uh, I think we're in the low twenties, somewhere thereabouts, in terms of reputation. Come 
Come on. Roll over the artillery, please. Get punched, nerd. How the fuck? I, I'm literally walking over you with an 80-ton mech. Thankfully, they've made the mistake of clustering all of their artillery right next to each other. Let's, let's just do that. Ow, god damn it. Alright, fine. If you're all gonna gang up on me because I'm in your base killing all your dudes, then let me bring my people in to help me. Get conched, nerd! Get punched again, nerd. Where's your artillery now, buttholes? Get your assassin out of here. This ain't no ass creed. Actually, I need to- I need to capture you for the purposes of a cantina mission. Oh, well. Never mind. Does it? Where is it? I guess you guys- oh, no, there it is. Alright, let's see what we get. I saw the spider over here for just a second. Oh! And we got another assassin. Get medium lasered, nerd. You better cut that shit out. Come here. Come here. Get punched, nerd. I need to leg you. I need your mech. Somebody's gonna pay me money for one of your mechs. So hold still. Hold still, damn it. These little fucking commandos have almost poured me out with their SRM bullshit. Also, I'm kind of stupid and I haven't really been paying attention either, so there's that. Come here, nerd. Stop running in circles. Get punched, nerd. So all the usual you say, Moss. Yeah, correct. I'm a dumbass. Holy shit, it's a wolfhound. I didn't know wolfhounds were in this game, Chet. I don't think I have ever seen a wolfhound in MechWarrior 5. I mean, not that it's like some spectacular mech that's gonna change the game for us or anything, but like, I didn't even know that the wolfhound was in the game. That's how infrequently I've seen them. Maybe just very rare because bad? Ah, possible. Correct, Ricky. Correct. You don't have to be smart in a charger, you just have to punch. And I, I have been punching. 
I would like to think that I've been punching good, but I have definitely been punching regardless. Hey Cody, good to see you on a Saturday. Glad you could join us. Hopefully, hopefully, you're done with work instead of just going to work. I know you normally work on Saturdays. But good to see you all the same and glad you could join us for some more hot mech on mech action. Catching us about five hours into the stream, so we we've been we've been at it for a little while. Oh my, that's a lot of mechs. That is a lot of mechs. Okay. So we needed the assassin and we needed some panthers. Oh my god. Oh my god, Chet. Chet, what the fuck? Why is there Pharaoh and an Ultra AC5 on the salvage and case on set? What did we blow up? What the hell did we blow up on the field, chat? No work today, rotation starts tomorrow. Well, congratulations, Cody. Good to, good that you got the day off. You love to fucking hear that shit. Saturdays, Saturdays should always be off. Like, I think Saturdays and Sundays should just be universal. Like, the whole country should just shut down on Saturdays. That's my opinion. Okay, so if we take all that, then we have to leave behind the panther. I'm taking the assassin for the cantina mission. I'll pay 90k. I, I will pay 90k for Pharaoh and an Ultra AC5? No question. No doubt. No hesitation. I'll pay 90k for that. Alright. So, we got our assassin mech. Outstanding. We also got credit for killing 25 VTOLs. Also outstanding. And we've already got more cantina missions. Collect a griffin mech. Alright, I can do that. And I'll take the beer cash mission, even if we're not gonna finish it. Uh, tributes for the Imperator, accepts, and bow and arrow. I don't even know what this is, but we'll take that too. Ah, uh, let's see. Battle mechs. A normal weekend in Germany where Saturday everything closes at 8 p.m. and Sundays where nothing is open. That'd be great! I mean, you know, if, if workers' rights and treating human beings like human beings uh, and not disposable cogs in the capitalist machine was a thing that we did here in the United States, but it's not, so, you know. Uh, let's see, we lost a medium laser, but that's okay, because we, we got plenty of medium lasers to replace it. Uh, no parts lost on that crab, on this crab, or this crab. Out fucking standing. Uh, wait, is the next mission on his- I- you know what, I love it when they just like, Hey, here's the next mission that you're looking for. Let's do it. Uh, once again, we're gonna take Max salvage shares, cause that worked out pretty damn good for us last time around. And I think we just go with this existing Lance Comp. It's only 24 days before we're ready to go, so let's make it hot. The Hero Archer Agon Court, to be precise. Oh, don't worry, Cody. I, I have told you guys a thousand times before, the reason that I put so much time and energy into editing VODs and stuff like that is because I want you all to be able to enjoy the stream even if you're not here to see it live. So, like, if you want to go fishing, if you want to go, you know, play the new, the new hotness on your day of, go do that and don't feel bad about it because the VOD will be up on Twitch for seven days and the VOD's archive will be on YouTube forever. So, never, never feel like you have to be here. Like, I would prefer you to be here live because I love having more people in the stream and I definitely want people to be here and enjoy the community, but never, never put anything on hold to be in this street. I would rather you enjoy the, the brief moments of your life in the opportunities that you get rather than be here. Like, I appreciate you guys showing up, but I would rather that you go and, you know, go to game night, go play Arma, 
paint minis, go fishing, go go do the cool stuff. Because the stream's gonna be here regardless. And even if you miss a stream, you'll still get to catch up on it when you have time. Or go to works, because game store got a game. I, I mean, you know. Oh, also, battle max, battle max. Crab number three needs to get its paint. It has earned its colors. It is now blooded. There we go. There we go. Oh, and uh, we were supposed to look at the pilots because Erst has gotten himself uh, a new a new perk. They now have honors student where heat management is elementary. So Erst has become even better at heat management. It's almost like he knows he's going to be in the Desco Inferno before this game is over. Let's see, who else? I know we had somebody who had a bad quirk. Yeah, school dropout. Probably need to do something about that, but it's... Love of lasers. Personally tweet sends you weapons out with the just D. Heat, I can words, Chad. Heat dissipation to disastrous effect. We probably want to get rid of that. Prepped and ready, Commander. Glad to join so, the when, ready, whenever Commander. we get back to an industrial hub... Oh god, ANSI has been picking up negative traits all over the place. Um, so yeah, once we get back to an industrial hub, we'll definitely have to work on getting some... In, getting rid of some of these negative traits. The anti-parasocial, which paradoxically is why we hang out here, at least in my case. Again, I, and I've said before, like, if you don't have anything better to do and you want to hang out here during the stream, that's great and I appreciate you. But if you got other things going on, never, never, ever put those things off for this stream. Because I'll still be streaming next week and I'll put the streams up, I'll put the vines up. So if you can be here live, that's great and thank you so much for your time. But if you got other things going on, I highly recommend it. Again, it's... Those are moments that come around once in a lifetime, and it's better that you take those now. Whereas this is stuff that, you know, I'm recording. Like, it's not going anywhere. And even if I die tomorrow and there's never another stream, you will always be able to keep up with every minute that we were here, even if you couldn't be here personally. Yeah, I, I deeply respect my audience. I respect your time, I respect your money, because you, you guys do not have to be here, and I appreciate that you spend the time here regardless. I Again, I've said that a million times, and I'll say it a million more, because it never stops being true. Uh, speaking of, and, and cutting out all the mushy stuff, we are ready for this mission, so let's make it hot, chat. Oh, you don't have to live, and I know you're here for the booba. It's okay. From our I, I get it. I get it. I get it. The remaining Ghost Rider leadership to the following positions. The Canopian Fusiliers are already moving to secure magistracy interests in the system. So this task will fall to your unit alone, Commander. Cut off the heads of the Ghost Rider leadership. Mate, you say that I shouldn't respect you because you're degenerates. I'm also a degenerate, so though? This gets done. I, I name dropped, but didn't name drop a rather infamous hentai game series during the Ace Combat stream. I am just as much of a degenerate as the rest of you, maybe more so. I have worked on translating multiple hentai games and videos and all sorts. Like, trust me, I, I am right there with you in terms of degeneracy. Oh, I'm Art. Ah, uh, oh, that's Vito. Man, I can't really see my lasers in this vision mode. It's a little disorienting. Oh, God bless America. Okay, what are we- we're just locating and killing a target. I'm- I'm not gonna get hung up on every little enemy that comes out of the woodwork. Cause they're just here to distract us. We got you, boss. 
Yeah, probably a little too far away. Guys, you all have large lasers. Please use them. No, no, Rihanna, it's fine. I can literally see the guy that we're here to kill. I just can't hit him from here. Also, turret cartel. So, you know, that's a thing. Yeah, let's let's just kill the target. He, he's right here. He's right here. Just burn him down. Just burn his ass down. There we go. Uh, I imagine they're gonna fight back. Oh shit, I got a dropship landing right on top of me? Okay. Guys, please take care of that Centurion, if you don't mind, while I go after this Locust. Where, where are you going? You know what? I'm not gonna chase you. If you're gonna lead me to the dropship, then I'm gonna go to the dropship. That's not true. I am gonna eat your Cheerios. There you go. Now we'll leave. Now we'll leave. Well, Elijah, you're not entirely wrong. The only problem is I don't currently have mask or triple strength to put in this charger, but we're gonna get there eventually. And then sprinting will absolutely be a thing with this. Like, look at how tall this mech is. The cockpit is like way up here. This is the chest. The hand is above the camera. Man, we, th this, this salvage is butt cheeks. Fuck it, I guess we'll take the garbage, because that's all they're going to give us. And we got our Warhammer. We got our Warhams, Chet. Alright, so this mech is in good shape, didn't lose anything. Same thing with this crab. This one lost one of the lasers, that's alright. We got plenty of large lasers to replace it with. Oh, in fact, we have everything we need. Out fucking standing. Uh, correct, Elijah. Mask does not exist yet in the timeline. Well, I mean, technically it does. But it's not, it, it's hard to get your hands up. But that's okay. We'll get there. We will get there eventually. So go ahead and repair the charger. Uh, the Hunchback 4J that we just picked up, um, I think we strip it and sell it. Because I'm, I'm not a fan of the 4J. Missiles, I mean, if we're talking about Hunchback Heresy. If we're just talking about Hunchback Heresy. Missiles in a Hunchback is as heretical as it can possibly be. Like, you literally cannot be more heretical than putting missiles in a Hunchback. And I should know. I removed the Hunch from the Hunchback. And I'm the one saying putting missiles in a Hunchback is heresy. Alright, so, this is a Warhams, and, uh, we're going to fix this Warhams, because we already know how Warhams are. We're gonna put large lasers in it, because the AI is dumb. Because the AI does not know how to use PPCs. Otherwise, we will keep this thing as is. Well, that's not entirely true. I'm gonna put in medium lasers instead of small lasers in the torso. Uh, let's max out the armor, and I'd say we're good here. Again, a largely, largely default loadout with a little bit of modification for the, uh, for the um, AI, but otherwise, pretty good. Pretty good. 
What about a Thunderbolt 20? I mean, T-Bolts? I don't- Are T-Bolts in yet another mech lab? They're definitely not available yet, but, like, are they in yet another mech lab? I don't think we've made it that far into the timeline. Get a pair of MMLs or Thunderbolts? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of the MG? Uh, I was not a fan of machine guns for a long time, but I, I have come around. I have come around to machine guns and their utility. Um, having been on the receiving end enough times and lost major components to them enough times, I, I, I appreciate machine guns now for what they are. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and start the work on this thing, get it built up for the AI, and uh, let's see what's next on the docket. Operations objective logs. Uh, we have finished that up. So then let's hit the star map. So we got a high, re high reward quest. We got another couple of high re reward quests. All right, so let's hit water mail. We'll check out what they've got going on there. Uh, and then we'll probably hit an industrial hub and see what we can do. Man, I don't know why the game keeps chugging whenever we load a new star system, because, like, it's not loading anything except a planet texture. Contracts here may discover Pharaoh Beer Cash. All right. So we're chasing ghosts in Merrick space, eh? All right, works for me. This is a very low difficulty conflict zone. I mean, Cody, I think they probably do have uh, the, the cat ears and sexy outfits. It's just, you know, in the interest of professionalism, she doesn't wear them when she's like on the comms with mercenaries. Like she just wears that casually outside of combat. You know what I mean? Like again, gotta, you gotta have some decorum. All right, well, let's uh, let's do this first mission for chasing ghosts and uh, maybe we'll get lucky and find the salvage that we need for uh, for that cantina mission as well. Wait. Bag it up. Oh, I guess I did make all my picks. OK, all right. All right. That'll work. That'll work. Um, you know, again, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This lands comp is working. So we're gonna do it. Actually, you know what? Never mind. I just realized this is such an easy mission. Ah, uh, our tonnage limit is is significantly lower than it would normally be. So uh, let's let's see if we can down ton a little bit. Let's go with a blackjack. Who's gonna have decent affinity with a blackjack? Nobody really. All right, Northman, you're up. You haven't gotten any any screen time this stream. Still puts us quite a bit over tonnage. Um, but we don't really have anything lighter. Like, the Blackjack is a 45 tonner, and that's the lightest mech we have in the company at the moment. Assuming we don't pull anything out of cold storage. Thunderbolts are very scary for what it is. There's a very solid heavy mech choice. Yeah, I like Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts are really good. Like, as a heavy mech... Absolutely outstanding as a platform. It's durable. It's easy to repair. You can mount decent firepower. Like, if you build them right, a Thunderbolt can be... That's basically your linebacker. The, the Thunderbolt is is your defensive linebacker. Nah, to hell with that. I want to make sure all my pilots are getting experience. Are we going to get less rewards? Sure. But this is a difficulty 1 to 5, so... Like, we're in the single-digit difficulties here. We weren't going to make a whole lot on salvager money anyway. Oh, right. Weapon groups. Weapon groups. Um... Give me... Give me... Tell you what, let's do this. Because we can't hit anybody. Uh, so we'll go chain fire, chain fire, and then... Yeah, there we go. 
Then loo. That'll loo, pig. On the plus side, this may lead us closer to Ravid. There's a strong likelihood we'll find one of our hidden assets on this mission. I've marked the possible location for it on your map. Outstanding work, Rihanna. You have saved me the trouble of having to look for it. Yeah, absolutely, Madman. Like, y if you have a good Thunderbolt and you build it right, again, they, they are outstanding mechs all the way through a campaign. Torn between Rack 5s on a King Crab or Energy Build on a Battlemaster. Both are outstanding. I, personally, am more partial to the Battlemaster, but, I mean, both are outstanding ideas. I see something. Ah, one down. All right, so it was a tank. Good to know. Oh, turret cartel. Back in business. We got an urban mech right in front of me. I am I am disappointed with the performance. I am I am disappointed with the performance of these AC twos. I am disappointed. That's okay, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Ah, uh, I done seen you. I done seen you. That's okay, I'm gonna do what I came to do first. Take care of that building. Take care of this building. Target neutralized. Hey, look at that. Forming on you. I love it when the AI actually takes care of stuff. Where would you hunt down their factories and representatives for each major house to hamper and deployments and contracts would be awesome? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like... I mean, I say it half as a joke, but I think it would be great to, like, to, to be able to go out there and just lay waste to the turret cartels. Share target identified. J. Edgar. J. Edgars, which are deceptively tanky for what they are. I think if we're going to use this blackjack for any length of time, though, we definitely need to refit it, because the AC2s are just not doing it for me. They also don't have much ammo, so that's that's also a disadvantage. It's an urban mag. Go get him, boys. Go get him. Where, where's... It's, okay, there we go. There's number three. I was trying to figure out where the third crab was. I wasn't seeing it. It was making me worry. Guys, if you don't mind...
maybe, maybe, maybe take out the Irby. Well, there we go. We are now officially out of ammunition. Guys, if at any point you would like to fire at the enemy, I, I would not be uh, averse to that. And while you guys are finger popping your own assholes, I'm gonna see about accomplishing the objective that we came here to accomplish. Let me in. All right, now I'm gonna go also see if I can find that secondary, that uh, that thing that we need to get. The DB Varen is just undergunned. I don't. What what are we talking? Are we talking about a blackjack? I mean, I would I would take large lasers over the AC twos. I'd even put like AC fives in this thing. Like, there's a lot of things I could do with a blackjack that would make it better than this configuration currently. Like, the AC2s just don't have enough punch. And, and I've said that before, like, I am underwhelmed by the performance of autocannons in, in MechWarrior 5. Like, they just don't hit as hard or fire as fast or are as accurate as I feel like they should be. We're approaching the location of it's very frustrating. It must be nearby. As, as someone who is a shooter and likes to shoot, and someone who loves autocannons in the setting, it is, it is often frustrating that the autocannons are so underperforming in MechWarrior 5. The Ultra Autocannon was actually really good. Let me just go ahead and walk on through this building. And then we'll head over here and take care of the other one. Oh, oh, well apparently I didn't do enough damage. There we go, there we go. Yeah, but that's a different game, Arpia. Like, the, the Helldivers 2 autocannon is, uh, is pretty damn good. Especially against bots, but you guys already know that. And if not, now you know. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing that's gonna happen, Rihanna. Right? Go ahead and finish off that Irby, and then we'll get out of here, boys. Rack and Ultra Auto Cannon are both pretty solid. Yeah, um, I mean, we used the Ultra Auto Cannon in the previous, so... No, I'm sorry. We used the LBX-10 in the vanilla campaign on some Orions, and they were really good. Uh, we used the Ultra AC-5 on the Hero Wolverine early in this career, and it was really good. Uh, I don't think racks are in the base game, but they are supposed to be in yet another mech lab, but we haven't made it in... We have not made it to the point in the timeline where they're available yet. Yeah, well, we'll definitely need to revamp this, uh... God damn. Like, I want the panther, but... Good lord. 1.5 for that is not worth it. Uh, so I guess we'll take two urban mechs and sell them both. Why not? It ain't much, but it's something. Uh, and we did collect the beer. Outstanding. We'll go ahead and claim that. No canteen emissions available here, though. Um, was that it? 
Like, is there another stage to this? Or it was just that one mission, I guess. No chasing ghosts. Okay. Investigate the isolated planet view with threats. So, like... Oh, this is one of those things where they have a mission on multiple planets. Okay. Got it. Uh, well, if that's the case, we're actually really close to an industrial hub. So, let's head there first. Uh, wrecks are, I think, 30, 50, 30, 60 tech, Elijah. Or at least that's when I remember them showing up. They're still pretty rare in those eras, but they do exist. Uh, but now that we're in Industrial Hub, first of all, let's have a look at... Uh, well, here we go. Kill Harasser units. Again, we'll definitely do that. And then let's look at putting our mechs back together. So first of all, we're going to sell the Irbies. We're not going to make a whole lot of money on them, but it is what it is. Not a big deal. Uh, the 4J Hunchback. Again, this is the Missile Hunchback. We don't really need this thing. Let's get this thing out of here. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Yeah, we, we stripped it down. That's that's what I wanted to do. Uh, and then the black jack, I'll see about potentially putting putting some. Let's see. Let's rub some funk on it. Let's rub some funk on it, chat. Yeah, I mean, of of course, of course, Davian made the racks. When you think of, of ridiculous autocannon technology, you're thinking of either clans or David. Uh, but let's see, with a blackjack, if we drop the AC2, you know what, let's just strip the whole thing. Let's, let's start there. And let's plug in a 200 engine just to give it a little bit more speed. And then if I was going to put an auto cannon in here, I would rather put in like an AC-10. But I don't think we can do that. So maybe an AC-5. If we did light rifles, we might be able to stack up light rifles and fire them faster. But it doesn't have the hard points for that. So maybe, 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 maybe. We go AC-5 burst fire, one in each arm. Fill it up with ammo and call it a day. And then just go ham with the AC-5s. We can only put four bins of ammo in there, though. That's that's the real problem. So that's going to give us 80 rounds times four. So 320 rounds. Coming out of two auto cannons. that's... Uh... 160 shots before we run out of ammo at full alpha. That's not too bad. That's a decent amount of ammo. What do we think, chat? And then we got half, half a ton left, so we'll go ahead and max out the armor or put as much armor in it as we can with the remaining tonnage. Could sacrifice half a ton of armor for another bit of ammo. We could. We could. But you know me. I, I play stupid, so I like the I like to have durability on my side. Uh, let's do this. Take a couple points off the center torso, put them in the legs. The legs are pretty lightly armored. Probably a separate yet on the mech lab mod, the double ammo bins that take two slots but give two and a half times rounds. Maybe. Maybe. I mean there are definitely double ammo bins that exist. I just I would assume that's a yet another mech lab thing. Because they're definitely not in the base game. Well, I'm glad you like a Valtoxic dog. I, that's why I put him in there. So we could do this. We could go with an AC-5 burst fire variant. Or, alternately, we could fill it with maybe large lasers instead. Because the large lasers are going to weigh 5 tons. So theoretically, we could put in 4 large lasers in this thing. And then fill it up with heat sinks to take up the rest of the space. 
and potentially have a, another long range fire on our hands. But then again, I'm putting a bunch of work into a blackjack that we'll probably never use. So there's that. Did the Marauder get rebuilt and die? Uh, no, I just, we needed to go to an industrial hub to rebuild it, and that's, uh, that's where we are now. We just got here to an industrial hub. So we will be, we will be putting some of those long languishing mechs in cold storage back together. Uh, missing two or more heat sinks. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna force me to put heat sinks in it. Okay. Well, then maybe the burst fire's not gonna work, because we'd have to drop two bins of ammo just to make that happen. Either that, or we'd have to drop this back down to the 180 core. The blackjack wants autocannons. This, this is true. This is true. Alright, well, if we do that... Give him three bins of ammo, that's 240 shots, which is... 120 full alpha bursts. That's still decent. Now we have the heat sinks that we have to have. Uh, but we now also have the ability to put in lasers for additional damage. We can also armor up. So if we armor up, that's almost maxing us out. So let's let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do here. Do that. And then what, one more bin of ammo? Just give them plenty of ammo so there's no chance that they're gonna run out. Four bins of AC5 ammo, AC5 burst fires. We're gonna lose a little bit of the extra speed that we got from the 200 engine, but that's okay. The 180 is the default. The heat sinks are indeed useless here. Uh, the question is, will it let me... Yeah, see, this is the problem. Uh, with these engines, we have to have a certain amount of heat sinks. Even if we're not using them, it still requires that we have a certain amount of heat sinks. So, unfortunately, even though we don't need them, I still have to put them in. Um, unfortunately, we either have to drop a ton of armor, or we have to drop a ton of ammo. Well, we tried the 200 engine Earth, and it didn't work out, because then we have to go down to two bins of ammo in order to fit the core in there. Because we put the 200 in it earlier. And that was the issue. So, I mean, we can drop one heat sink, but the problem is we're still two and a half tons overweight. And I, I don't, the next highest thing, that, I mean, we have a 205, but the next highest thing would be a 250. Again, there's, there's the part of me that's looking at this and like, as much as I would like to play with a blackjack, I don't know that it's worth it. I mean, we could max armor with this, but then, I, I mean, the legs are flimsy as tissue paper at that point. Like, I can try to armor up a little bit, but... At the end of the day, we're still... We're, we're still in a bad way as far as armor. 
yeah, this this is one of those, I would use it myself, but I wouldn't give it to the AI, and the problem is, I don't intend to use this thing. I tell you what we could do. I tell you what we could do. Let's let's do this. Let's let's go extra heresy. Just to see what does it look like if we put four large lasers into this thing. And we have no armor. So if I max out the armor, we're still pretty light on armor, but that's okay. Nah, we, we want to keep the armor heavy on the arms. So let's see. Let's see. We do that. We do that. And then fill it up with heat sinks. Except we can't do that because there's no weight left. Like, even with a single heat sink, there's no weight left. So we can't do that either. Son of a bitch. Alright, what about heavy rifles? We got multiple heavy rifles. So we're gonna have to have the two heat sinks. No matter what we do, at this engine, with this engine core, we have to have two heat sinks. So how much ammo can we actually put in this thing? Well, we don't even have any heavy rifle ammo. Yeah, we, we got nothing. So we can't even use the heavy rifles. That is... That is disappointing. Any AC2 rapid fires? I don't think so, but let's see. Uh, AC2, oh, well, they do have a couple of tier zeros. We could try it out. I'm willing to give it a shot. I mean, everybody keeps saying, try the AC2 rapid fire. I mean, fuck it. I do that, and then... I mean, obviously, we're gonna need a shitload of ammo. And then, what, we just stick in a few lasers for up-close protection? And then max out the armor? Again, it's not the greatest thing I've ever put together, but... I am kind of interested to see how the rapid fire AC2s perform with with as much as everybody's been saying we we should do that. More ammo is more better. I, I, I let's see. So we got 200 rounds. So we're basically looking at 800 rounds. You're saying we need more than that? More ammo. Okay. All right. I'll put in two more bins of ammo. I'm not going to put them in the torso, though, because I don't want this thing getting cored because it lost a side torso. So we're basically... We're betting everything on these AC2s. It's pretty much what we're doing here. We are betting this entire mech on the AC2s. Hey, don't, don't discount the small lasers, Erst. As somebody who made the name for themselves in a small laser boat, you can't sit there and pretend like you don't respect small lasers. 
You ought to, you know better than everybody. And the mech frog rolling into the chat on a Saturday. Good to see you, mech frog. Glad to have you. Hopefully you're having an outstanding weekend so far, and glad that you could join us for some some more Mech Warrior 5 modded career. This is a fucking sniper mech. It is indeed, and I do have it on the sniper AI setting, so uh we will we will see how well it does. Boating small lasers is actually a valid strategy. It is. Uh, for those of you that didn't see the Disco Inferno uh, in, in the BTA campaign, we, we put small heavy and small pulse lasers into a fire starter and proceeded to just run around shooting people in the back. And it was a hilariously effective design. Yeah, this mech can't do what the Disco Inferno did. But I'm interested to see what it does. I'm interested to see what it- let's- let's just do it. We can sit here talking about it all day, or we can just... Put our foot to the- put the foot- put our foot to the floor and see what happens. Um, alright, so next up, what are we looking at? Contracts... You know what? We got an arena contract. This might be a good opportunity to try out the blackjack. Yeah, we're we're close to running Crab Squad, Megfron. We're gonna call it Zoidberg Squad if we can manage to put them all together. Or even better, get the King Crab, so then that way you have like, you know, the King Crab ruling over the other crabs. I say we do it. But let's let's do it. I, I'm gonna take the Sea Bill payout on this one, and then we'll fill out the rest with salvage. It'll compromise your visibility. We're coming in under the tonnage limit. I'll go ahead and leave the crabs where they are. Uh, and, and I will try out this blackjack. Let's see if we have a pilot that's got a better affinity for it. Probably not, but it never hurts to check. Yeah. Nobody else has got an affinity for it. Yeah, everything returns to crab. Everything returns to crab. I, I feel like... There's a part of me that feels like this is... Well, it's certainly not the stupidest thing I've ever done. But it's probably the stupidest thing I've done today. Ah, uh, so let's see. Weapon groups. Uh, yeah. Alright, we'll go with that. Twelve hundred rounds, chat. Twelve hundred rounds of Anna. Okay, alright. It's got some fire rate to it. You know, for all the sound and fury, it's not actually doing that much damage. Oh, never mind. I was I was locked onto the wrong mech. Never mind. No, get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. I don't like the hatchet. I don't like it. I hope you like that sound, Chad, because that's... This is... You asked for this. You asked for this. Oh, there goes the ammo. You see all that work I did? And then this, this mother just comes in here and snipes my kill with a large laser. What a butthole. I mean, clearly you guys were right about the ammo, though, because I've already burned through almost half of our ammo reserves. So, uh, I apologize for not taking you guys seriously when you said we needed more ammo.
All right. Motion to rename the mech to the Blackjack Hammer. Uh, I like it. I like it. Need to get higher tier guns to make this sucker work. It's intended. I mean... It's not the worst mech we've ever put together, chat. It's not the worst thing we've ever put together. Well, Ladder Stalls, it's good to see you first time chatter rolling into the Saturday stream. Good to see you. Glad to have you. Hopefully you're having an outstanding weekend as well. And we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Uh, we're trying out some Meg Bay Heresy. We stuck in some uh, Rapid Fire AC2s into this Blackjack. And uh, six bins of ammo. And even then, that wasn't... That feels like it wouldn't be quite enough for an extended engagement. But hey, look at that. We've almost made it to turnip status, Chet. We're almost officially a turnip. Uh, we do need a griffin for one of the... One of the cantina missions. I'm tempted to take it even at our own expense, but god, that's expensive. Okay, never mind. We're not taking it. Instead, we're just gonna take as much mech salvage as we can. I'll take a medium. Uh, we'll take that. I'll take this. We literally cannot take anything else. That's that's all we got. I guess I guess the fair play is let's take the Phoenix Hawk instead. There we go. We'll at least get some money out of the deal. Yeah, heat sinks. Worth their weight in gold in yet another mech lab, apparently. The most valuable commodity in the inner sphere. 